Yes, uh, good morning students. Very nice to see you all on the video again. After a long, long time, we are having a lecture for you. Chalo, I hope you all have read what I have sent you in the morning. So, please read it first once. If you understand it well and good, if not, at least you have understood partially, that will help you to understand this lecture better. So, please read it once before you see this video. If I have a live lecture, I have a recorded lay down so that you understand this properly. So, let's analyze what is gene mapping. Lots of questions in the NTA papers which you have sent me. So I have nicely formatted the concept of gene mapping for you and send it to you on the PDF file. Please get a printout of that. That will really help you to revise it in the last few days. Gene mapping samajhne se pehle, let's just go into a little basic which we had done in our 12th standard. If you remember, there are say chromosomes and you have two chromosomes. One chromosome has got capital A G. One chromosome has got capital B G. And uh, on the other side, one chromosome has got small a. One chromosome has got small b. Now, what is possible in them? In them is possible that in the F2 generation, X capital A combines with X small b and X small a combines with X capital B and we get capital A small b, small a capital B and in the that is during formation of gamete and in the F2 generation we will get dominant 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 recessive recessive dominant and recessive recessive in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 what is this point as independent assortment why was independent assortment possible because all the elite capital A small a, capital B, small b were found on different chromosomes and x capital A, x capital B could form a gamete, x small a, x capital B could form a gamete and they could form a parental phenotype as well as recombinant which we had done in the ratio of 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 which was mendel dihybrid ratio but in the next chapter when we have done the concept of linkage dhyan se all of you if we have x capital A and x capital B on the same chromosome and x small a and x small b on the same chromosome chances are that when they form gametes, x capital A will go with x capital B only and x small a will go with x small b only and the x capital A capital B fuses with another x capital A capital B to form a capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B parental phenotype and the X small a, X small b gamete fuses with X small a, X small b gamete to form X small a, X small a, X small b, X small b parental phenotype but there is a chance ki yaha independent apartment nahi hoga independent apartment is not possible Independent apartment kab hoga? When genes are found on separate chromosomes. Tab independent apartment hoga. Yaha genes are found on same chromosome. So independent apartment nahi hoga. But there is a chance that when the parents form gametes, 
ड्यूरिंग गैमिक फॉर्मेशन देर इज मियोसिस एंड ड्यूरिंग मियोसिस नॉन सिस्टर क्रोमैटिक ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोजो नॉन सिस्टर क्रोमैटिक ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोजो will undergo the phenomenon of crossing over which is called as chiasma and that will happen in patchity and then in the anaphase 1 the two homologous chromosomes separate and what will happen that diploid will become haploid and the chromosome separate and because of crossing over what is the new combination we got uh, x capital a capital b was parental x small a x small b was the uh, parental and the new combination we got was capital a small b and small a capital b so this is happening during gamete formation not due to independent assortment but due to crossing over and due to crossing over recombination has taken place now if you remember i taught you this if capital a and capital b are situated very close to each other and small a and small b are situated very close to each other then these genes are tightly linked and there is a very high possibility that on crossing over the gametes will have capital a capital b and small a small b so recombination chances are less why because capital a capital b are tightly linked small a small b are tightly linked very close to each other so unke beech mein crossing over ke chances kam hote hain and there is a very high chance that you will get parental genotype capital a capital a small a small a small b capital a capital b small a small b ha but there is a little chance very little chance that the chiasma is formed between capital a between capital a capital b and small a small b and uske beech mein chiasma hua pachidin ke type then on anaphase you will get x capital a and cross over small b and small a and cross over capital b and that is called as recombination but in case of tightly linked gene the chances of recombination is very less if you remember we had done the drosophila experiment in case of white and yellow gene which are tightly linked the chances of crossing over is only 1.3% we have padha hai ncrt mein these are called as tightly linked and what is the percentage of recombination only 1.3% but suppose the capital a capital b are on same chromosome and uh sorry capital a capital b are on same chromosome and small a small b are on same chromosome but they are situated far apart from each other so they are not tightly linked then there is a very high chance that during meiosis during pachity the chiasma is formed between capital a capital b and 
that small a small b and you get a new combination capital a small b and the small a capital b so capital a small b and small a capital b ye naya combination banta hai which is called any combination now in case of drosophila experiment in case of white and miniature way white tap miniature are having genes situated far apart and that is the reason chances of having recombination capital a small b small a capital b is higher 37.2% so in case of white and yellow closely tightly linked genes what was the percentage of recombination 1.3 in case of capital a capital b small a small b situated far apart what is the percentage of recombination between white and miniature 37.2 and what are such genes called as loosely linked so in genes ko kya kehte hain loosely linked so sir good work and the distance between two genes on the same chromosome increases chances of recombination will increase if the distance between two genes on the same chromosome is more chances of recombination is more and those are called as loosely linked genes If the distance between two genes on the same chromosome is less, then they are tightly linked, and the chances of recombination are less, which means you get more parental genotype and less recombination. And what are these genes called? The tightly linked genes. Now that we have understood this, let's just go into finding. कि सर अगर एक पेरेंट है कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी सिचुएटेड फार अपार्ट स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी सिचुएटेड फार अपार्ट देन व्हाट आर द चांसेस ऑफ हैविंग प्रोजेनी प्रोजेनी कौन से टाइप के बनेंगे प्रोजेनी बनेंगे कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी एंड कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी व्हाट इज दैट पॉइंट एट पेरेंट स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी And small a small b. What is that called as parent? And you have capital A small b and capital A small b. Now that is capital A capital A small b small b. What is that called as recombinant? And you have again small a capital B and small a small b. What is that also called as recombinant? तो कैपिटल ए कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी कैपिटल बी इज पेरेंट स्मॉल ए स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी स्मॉल बी इज पेरेंट एंड कैपिटल ए कैपिटल ए स्मॉल बी स्मॉल बी इज रिकॉम्बिनेट स्मॉल ए स्मॉल ए कैपिटल बी कैपिटल बी इज कॉल्ड रिकॉम्बिनेट सो दीज आर द पॉसिबल टाइप्स ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेट एंड पेर चल सो नाउ दर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस वी गो इन टू जीन मैपिंग Please understand this well. Morgan and Sturtevant found that the frequency of crossing over recombination between two linked genes is directly proportional to the distance between the two. What I just said that those genes, जो linked हैं, उनके बीच में crossing over that is recombination is directly proportional to the distance between the two less the distance less chance of recombination more the distance more chances of recombination for crossing over and 1% recombination between two linked genes is considered to be equal to 1 सेंटी मॉर्गन सीएल और वन मैथ यूनिट 
ये प्लीज अभी के लिए मैं मनाइज करता हूं दैट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ क्रॉसिंग ओवर इज से 1.3 पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट देन वॉट इज दैट पॉइंट एट वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज पॉइंट एट वन पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमोलॉजिस और वन पॉइंट थ्री मैप यूनिट इज इट इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट टू परसेंट रिकॉम्बिनेशन दैट इज पॉइंट एट थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट टू सेंटीमोलॉजिस और थर्टी सेवन मैप यूनिट सो वन परसेंट रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज पॉइंट वन सेंटीमोलॉजिस और वन मैप यूनिट Now one percent is one centimeter. Hundred percent crossing over is called as morgan, and ten percent crossing over is called as decimorgan. Simple, just uh, mathematics. What is one percent recombination called? Centimeter or a map unit. What is hundred percent crossing over called? Morgan or hundred map units. What is ten percent crossing over point? Deci Morgan or ten map units. So, ye beta, yaad rakhe ra. One percent recombination called as one centi Morgan, also called as one map unit. Please remember this. And important now, the frequency of recombination, which is called cross over value. Is calculated using the formula. Total number of recombinant upon total number of progeny or offspring multiplied by hundred. Please, अभी के अभी इसे memorize कर लो. What is percentage recombination? Percentage of recombination is also called as crossover value, which is total number of recombinants. Recombinants. Capital A, capital A, small b, small b, small a, small a, capital B, capital B. Recombinant. Upon total number of progeny or offspring, parent, parent, recombinant, recombinant, total number of offspring. Capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, small a, small a, small b, small b, parent. Plus capital A, capital A, small b, small b, small a, small a, capital B, capital B, recombinant. So once again. Percentage recombination is the total number of recombinant upon total number of progeny or offspring multiplied by hundred. And in other words, recombination frequency, recombination frequency is total number of recombinant. Upon total number of progeny or offspring, so recombination frequency R F is total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring. So, beta, what is the difference between recombination frequency and Percentage recombination or crossover value. The formula or logic is the same. Formula same is, but crossover value me we multiply by hundred. And in recombination frequency we don't multiply by hundred. Simple. Baki same. Recombination frequency is total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring, and crossover value or percentage recombination is total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring multiplied by hundred. So again, recombination frequency can be converted into crossover value. See you again. 
और परसेंटेज रिकॉम्बिनेशन बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ 100 जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ 100 दैट मींस रिकॉम्बिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 100 हैज नाउ बिकम परसेंटेज रिकॉम्बिनेशन और क्रॉस ओवर कैल प्लीज रिमेंबर एंड रिकॉम्बिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी बिटवीन टू जी is determined by a tie hybrid test cross experiment golden word khas yaad rakhna ye recombination frequency between two genes two genes ke beech ka recombination frequency capital is capital b स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी इनका चांसेस ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय डूइंग अ डाई हाइब्रिड टेस्ट क्रॉप्स सो व्हाट इज दिस क्रॉप्स विथ स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी If you remember, dihybrid test crop, what will you multiply with? Double homozygous recessive. Double homozygous recessive. We have done it in Mendel's laws of inheritance. That a test crop is always multiply the F1 or the F2 generation with a double homozygous recessive. That is called as the dihybrid test cross. Yeah, they all of you. And in case of finding recombination frequency between two genes, we will determine it by doing a dihybrid test cross experiment. That is crossing it with a double homozygous recessive. Double homozygous recessive. So in case of capital A capital B, small a small b, how do you know that in the middle of it, recombination ke chances kitne hain? You will do a test cross with small a small b and small a small b. Small a small b, small a small b, cut test cross. Kare. I hope you all have understood this. And now let us take a few examples. Let's take a few examples. Individual homozygous for small a small b was crossed with. वाइल्ड टच प्लस प्लस प्लीज याद रखना प्लस प्लस इज कॉल्ड वाइल्ड टच एंड वाइल्ड मीन डोमिनेंट जी वट इज वाइल्ड मीन डोमिनेंट जी कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी सो वेन बी से इंडिविजुअल होमोसाइज फॉर स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी Was crossed with wild type plus plus. In other words, small a small b was crossed with dominant gene capital A capital B. So what is the cross? Small a small b into plus plus. In simple words, capital A capital B, the dominant type. So they can give you the question capital A capital B. Or they can say wild type plus plus, and the F1 hybrid does produce what test cross. F1 hybrid produces what test cross. As we just said, you do a test cross, and it produces progeny in the following proportion. So F1 hybrid ka test crossing kiya. F2 generation में what was the progeny or offspring you got plus plus 
in other words capital a capital b 900 smallest small b 880 plus a capital a 115 plus b capital a small b 105 so once again plus plus that is capital a capital b 900 smallest small b 880 plus a in other words in other words a and plus yani capital b and plus b plus b in other words capital a small b and how much did we get capital a capital b 900 small a small b 880 small a capital b 115 Capital A small b, 105. Now, which were the parental types? Small A small b, and to the other parent, capital A capital B. So, capital A capital B parent kitna mila? 900. Small A small b parent kitna mila? 880. Plus A. On small a capital B, what is small a capital B? Recombinant. Recombinant is how much? One one five. Capital A small b, that is plus small b. Recombinant. Recombinant is how much? Hundred and five. So which are the parents? Plus plus. Or capital A capital B nine hundred. Small a small b, small a small b. Parent, 880, small a capital B, which is written as plus a, 115, recombinant. Capital A small b, which is written as plus b plus small b, 115. Calculate the distance between small a and small b g. Calculate the distance between small a and small b g. Now solution. What are the parents? Plus plus small a small b. Plus plus that is the capital A capital B and small a small b. That is cross small a small b by the capital A capital B. I hope you are understanding that plus plus small a small b. So capital A capital B small a small b. Our parents. What are gametes formed? Gamete form will be plus, which is capital A, and plus, which is capital B, and small a, and small b, and F1 generation. What will you get for F1 generation? Capital A. Can I say? Uh, yeah. So plus a, plus a. In other words, you get you get capital B capital B with small a capital B with small a. What is that written as plus a? And you get capital A with small b. What is that written as plus b? Everybody clear? So, capital A, small b. What is that written as plus b? And small a, capital B. What is that written as plus a? Small a, capital B. Written as plus a. And उसका क्या किया हमने? That is F1 generation. So F1 generation is plus a plus b. And we did a test cross. We did a S1 hybrid. What did we do? Test cross. So test cross me small a small b. Test cross me small a small b. It's a test cross. And what will the gametes produce become? Small a. Sorry, plus. In other words, capital B and small a. And plus, यानी capital A, 
and the B, small b. And A, the smallest small b will become the carries the name A, small a and small b. Are you all with me? Perfect. Now, what will they produce in the F2 generation? In the F2 generation, capital B, in other words, plus, will combine with small a to form plus a, in other words, small a capital B. And small a will combine with small a to form small a small a. And capital A, in other words, plus will combine with small b to form plus b and and small b will combine with small b to form small b small b ye sirf samajhne ke liye this is not to be solved this part is only for understanding so we have understood the logic now this is not important, but what have you got? We have got four different types of geotypes in the F2 generation plus A parent sorry. Recall the name. Small A, small A, parent plus B recombinant small b small b parent and they are in the above ratio how much is plus a plus a we have said 150 150 how much is small a small a small a small a so fine we just go into that and plus b and small b small b so sir, what are these you are getting now? Project and is under our so what is the ratio we are getting? We have got the ratio and check it. Number of recombinant. Number of recombinant is plus a. Plus a kitna mila aapko? Number of recombinant plus a kitna mila aapko? How much did we get plus a? Check that. You got plus a, which are the common. Plus a, you got 150. Plus a, you got 150. Plus b is again a common. You got 105. Plus b, you got 105. So you got plus a, 150. Plus b, 105. So, what number of recombinants you got? 220. 220 recombinants. And total number of offspring, progeny. Ye aapko kitne mile? Plus plus are 900. Plus plus are 900. Parent. Small a small b are 800. Small a small b are 800. Sorry, 880. I'm so sorry. Small a small b are 880. Again, parent. And plus a here how many? 150. Recombinant. Plus b here how many? 105. Recombinant. So, what is the total number of progenitor offsprings you got? 2000. Once again, Number of recombinants, how much you got? Recombinant comes here, plus A and plus B, which is capital A, small a, capital, sorry, capital, uh, capital B, small a, and capital A, small b. So these are recombinants. Both is the way you have 115 plus 105, 220. 
and total number of progeny offspring is the value of 900 plus 880 plus 150 plus 105 of which 900 are capital A capital B plus plus parents 880 are small a small b which are again parents and the uh, capital B small a which is same as uh, plus a or 150 capital A small b which is same as uh, plus b is 105 and you got 2000 so now 220 upon 2000 220 upon 2000 if you remember recombination frequency is total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring so how much will be recombination frequency which is distance between a and b small g 220 upon 2000 220 upon 2000 which is 0 0.11 recombination frequency 220 upon 2000 0 0.11 recombination frequency and if we remember one recombination frequency is 1% recombination which is 1 map unit which is 1 centimorgan so how much will be 0.11 recombination frequency in terms of percentage recombination or map units uh, that will be 0.11 upon 0.01 0 0.11 upon 0.01 that is 11% recombination which is same as 11 map units or 11 centimorgans. So that is the way we got recombination frequency. But in your NEET exam, they will rarely ask you recombination frequency. So it was self summary ke liye tha. Baki, what have they asked you? They have asked you calculate the distance between small a small b. So best formula for calculating distance between small a small b is that use the simple formula of crossover value. That is crossover value is total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny offsprings in 200. Total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny offsprings in 200. That is how much is the total number of recombinants? 220. How much is the total number of progeny offspring? 200. And multiply that by 100. That will give you 11% recombination, which is also written as 11 map unit, which is also written as 11 centimorgan. So, we have understood this example in extensive detail. Key, other individuals homozygous for small a small b were crossed with wild type plus plus capital A capital B and S1 hybrid was test cross it produces progeny in the following proportion parent 900 parent 880 recombination 150 recombination 105 Calculate the distance between small a small b gene, then simple the total number of recombinants are uh, 115 plus 105. 115 plus 105 is 220. Total number of offspring progeny are uh, 900. Parental 880 small a small b parental. 115 recombinant, 105 recombinant. That means a total of 2000. And simple yard rakna hai, how much is the distance between two genes? The simple crossover formula, total number of recombinants upon total number of progeny or offspring into 
100 that is 220 upon 2000 into 100 which is 11% recombination or 11 mac units or 11 centimorgan that the distance between small a and small b gene as asked in the question above is 11% 11 mac units or 11 centimorgan or 11 percent recombination. So that is the simple nice first logic that we have understood. So ये वाला numerical ध्यान से करेंगे and now others will become much faster for you. I'll just take a break and we will resume with the next one.